Hi everyone, this is Suman from Decode now. Welcome to this video where we'll be logging into GitHub using OAuth 2.0 from our Java Spring Boot application. So before jumping into the coding section, let's just have a look at the GitHub OAuth 2 documentation. GitHub OAuth 2 is a way for us to integrate GitHub's authentication system into our own web application. So now the user can log into our application by using the GitHub credentials. So integrating this GitHub uh, authentication system into our own application provides us with mainly two advantages. One is with respect to security. So there is no extra effort required uh, from our side because uh, GitHub takes care of all the authentication system. We just have to integrate this uh, OAuth 2 into our own uh, application. And the second advantage is with respect to user experience. So the user does not uh, there is no need for user to create a new account of, under our platform or application. We, uh, they can just use the pre-existing credentials uh, that is the GitHub credentials to log into our application. So these are the two advantages. One is with respect to security and the other is with respect to uh, user experience. And if you see here, there are basically two flows that we can follow to integrate GitHub OAuth uh, into our application. And the first one is device flow which is basically for CLI tools, that is uh, command line interface. If we, if our application has this command line interface enabled, then we, we should go with the device flow. But for this uh, project or video, we'll be going with this web application flow, uh, which basically runs on our browser. So our Java Spring Boot application also runs in the browser. So we'll be going with this web application flow. So basically there are three steps in this uh, particular web application flow. And the first one is users are redirected to request their GitHub identity. So as and when we uh, enter into our application, it asks us for the credentials, which is nothing but the GitHub credentials. Uh, it takes us to their GitHub login page. And when those credentials are authenticated successfully, then it takes us to uh, next page. So let me just uh, demonstrate it to you. If I say uh, localhost 8080, right, I, I have the application running in the background. So it asks us for the credentials like this. This is nothing. This is not the credentials for our application, but rather for the GitHub. We, uh, we just have to sign in by providing the username uh, and the password. So I'm just demonstrating here. And as soon as I click enter here, right, or the sign in here, right, uh, it takes us to the next page where it is asking for asking for the user's permission to use the data. How does that page look like? It looks something like this. So it is saying authorize uh, this particular account to get access to your uh, data. And here at the bottom, you can see something like authorizing will redirect to this particular link. So the link that I have provided is the localhost 8080 link. Uh, but we can provide, uh, if, if you are running it something in live, you can provide that particular uh, link uh, applications link here. So this was the first step. The first step is to provide the GitHub credentials and then it will uh, take ask you for this authorized thing. And the second step, if you use, uh, see here, users are redirected back to your site by GitHub. So that's what even uh, this particular thing says. Uh, as soon as you authorize, it will redirect to your uh, application. So it redirects to the application and in the background, what it is doing is it is calling this particular uh, post method to get the access token from the GitHub. This is happening in the background. So as, uh, when we request this uh, request to GitHub for this access token, it re responds us something, the response something uh, looks something like this. So this is how the uh, access token looks like. The GHO which is present here, right? this is the access token and this is very important because uh, we will be using this access token as the authorization header uh, in the next step. So in the next step, as I said, in the third step, we will be using the access token to access various APIs uh, present in the GitHub. So GitHub uh, has exposed many APIs like we can get the repositories present in that particular account or the language of a particular repository. Uh, so all those things we can, uh, all those endpoints are exposed to us. And we can only get access to this uh, information by using the access token, uh, which was sent in this second step from the GitHub. We'll just have to use it as a bearer auth, auth token um, for accessing the exposed endpoints. And the next is the device flow, which we won't be needing. So this is the documentation for integrating uh, GitHub OAuth to our web application or uh, using this web application flow. Uh, let's jump into the coding section. So here is a Spring Boot starter project called uh, 
GitHub OAuth. So this OAuth application is a Java Spring Boot application. Uh, there is no code added. I have just extracted it from the Spring Initializer tool. So uh, we will be building this particular project from scratch. So the first step that I would want you guys to do is uh, to add a static folder under this resources and create an index.html file. So it's index.html. So just remove, get rid of all this code and paste in the co this particular code. So this code, what it does is, is it basically says, give, give it a header called demo and a div of class container saying, welcome to demo application. So as soon as our application runs in the browser, it says demo, welcome to demo application. If you are not familiar with the HTML uh, syntax, uh, do not worry about it. This is all the HTML that we are going to do th for this particular project. I will also place this particular HTML code in the description. You can uh, refer to it. And the second step that we want to do is uh, add dependency. So let me just go to pom.xml and add uh, a dependency called Spring Boot Starter Security. Spring Boot Starter Security, which is under the group ID Spring Framework dot boot. Uh, and just give the uh, version 3.1.2. You can refer to the version, the latest version uh, for your uh, project. Let me just load the Maven changes. And now uh, the Maven changes are loaded. Uh, let me just, you know, build uh, this particular application. I would like to point out to some change that happened after adding that particular dependency, which is uh, Spring Boot Starter Security. So now if you see in the console, you can see something called uh, generated security password and this is the password. So what uh, this particular, uh, what this particular, uh, you know, Spring Boot starter security dependency is doing is, it is laying an extra layer of security for our uh, Spring Boot application. So if I just go to the browser and say localhost 8080, right? It asked me for the username and the password. So this was not enabled before adding this particular dependency. So as soon as we added the Spring Boot starter security, it uh, asks for this username and password. So username is nothing but the user and uh, password is the password that was generated here uh, during our build process. Just copy it and paste it here. And if we sign in, it says demo, welcome to demo application which was the index HTML, which was the header was demo and the body was like something like welcome to demo application. So this was uh, the first step that is the adding index HTML and this particular uh, dependency, which was Spring Boot starter security. So the next step here is to add certain configurations in the application YAML file. So let me just open the application YAML file and uh, here we have to configure something uh, to say to our application, you know, uh, to use the GitHub uh, authentication system. So this is exactly where we'll be configuring to integrate GitHub authentication system into our own application. So for that, we just have to say Spring and under Spring, we have to mention security. Under security OAuth 2, since we are using the uh, GitHub OAuth 2 and under OAuth 2, uh, we are using client uh, and under this client we are registering so we say registration and uh, and we have to provide the client name for us it is github in this case so github and what all do we need to you know uh, login one is the client id and the other is the client secret so these are the two things that we uh, need and uh, the value for this, uh, I'll, I'll just tell you in a minute how to get the client ID and client secret for this uh, uh, particular configuration. In the next line, we have to add scope. So scope, scope here would be something like, uh, you know, uh, and under what all details do you require? Uh, we require repo, that is the repository details or the user user details of that particular uh, GitHub account. So that's that's the scope. And one more thing is the client name. So client hyphen name for us, it's again uh, capital G capital H GitHub. So um, this is how the configuration must look in the application YAML file. 
and uh, we have to get these two values one is the client id and the other is the client secret i'll just tell you in a minute how to get these uh, values let me go to a browser and open github so this this is the github account after uh, logging in just on the top right you have uh, 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 your image or the logo under which go to this settings and inside the settings uh, on the left hand side you can see something called uh, integrations applications and developer settings at the last click on this developer settings and you can see github apps oauth apps click on this oauth apps and here it it uh, has an option to register a new application so just click on that give uh, your application a name i'll just say demo oauth so that would be the name for this particular uh, application and give a url uh, for us it would be localhost 8080 uh, if you want any description you can add it here and the authorization callback url you can give something like this and anything is uh, fine here so this is uh, the re redirect url and just you know uh, do not enable this uh, device flow because uh, if you remember we are using the web application flow not the device flow and just click register uh, application so now you get the client id here just copy this client id and paste it in your uh, code the configuration in the application yaml file we need the client secret for that uh, here you can see an option under client secrets generate a new client secret click on it uh, a new client secret is generated just copy it and paste it here under client secret so this is all the configuration that you need uh, under in the in the application yaml file just uh, stop the application and run it again so now if we open the browser uh, under localhost 8080 right instead of asking for the normal username and the secure uh, password under spring starter security it should ask it should uh, direct us to the github uh, page so let me just refresh this page so it's not redirecting us to the github login page because we have not added the dependency related to oauth2 let me just add that particular dependency it goes something like uh, small spring boot spring boot starter watch to client yeah this one and under the group id it is uh, spring framework dot boot so let me just load the maven changes and now if i stop the application and run it again hopefully it should uh, redirect us to the github login page I, I, uh, I am not seeing that particular secure uh, password that was getting generated which is a good sign and let me just refresh this so yeah now it is redirecting uh, us to this particular uh, login page let me just go to my github and you know sign out so that you can see what is happening from the scratch I'll just stop the application and run it again So now if I go here and say localhost 8080, uh, it gets it brings me to my, uh, you know, the login page. It is saying sign in to GitHub to continue to the demo OAuth. So demo OAuth is our application and we have to sign in to GitHub in order to continue to uh, our application. So the credentials are the GitHub credentials, but after entering it here, we will be uh, logging to the demo uh, OAuth. So I will just say month six and give the password and say sign in. and the second page is authorized demo oauth which is saying uh, authorize this uh, demo oauth application uh, to get your uh, data which is the repositories and the user account data and after this it re it says authorizing will redirect to uh, this particular link so if i click on authorize so i'm i get redirected to this localhost 8080 so basically this was the uh, redirect link that we provided while creating our uh, application which was this uh, demo OAuth. as you can see here 
uh, home page URL we have given here, right? HTTP localhost 8080. So after authorizing, it redirected to uh, redirected us to this particular link. So this was all about logging into GitHub using OAuth 2 from our Java Spring Boot application. So all we did was just added uh, an uh, index HTML file for the front end of our application. And uh, we included two dependencies. One is the Spring Boot starter security and the other is Spring Boot starter uh, OAuth 2 client. And then in the application YAML file, we did certain configurations which required client ID and client secret, which we got from registering our uh, OAuth application in, in our uh, GitHub account under develop, uh, developer settings. So this was all about, you know, logging to GitHub using OAuth 2.0. So in the next video, I, I'll be interacting with GitHub. So there is uh, an access token which is sent in the background from uh, GitHub to us. I'll be using that access token to, you know, get uh, information like the repositories present in a particular account or uh, some user details. So uh, we'll be doing that in the next video. If you are interested in that, please do uh, watch that. If you have learned something new, please do subscribe to our channel and support us. If you have any questions, suggestions or requests, please do let us know in the comment section below and don't forget to like the video. See you in the next video.